Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you're all doing okay and you're still safe and you're washing your hands as always. Uh, today I want to talk about Vivi Tag while we're having this uh, gameplay of me getting destroyed in the background uh, to discuss like what's the state of the game uh, right now, you know, what's going on with Vivi Tag. I saw the video uploaded by Coefficient uh, regarding this matter and it's been on my mind lately. So, what's going on with Vivi Tag? The last thing we heard about it is when we get the big patch 2.0, which is like back in November. It's like almost five months ago, six months ago. So that patch was actually, in fairness, it was very pretty substantial. Uh, we got uh, new characters, we got uh, new system mechanics, we get balanced changes. Uh, it brought a lot to the table and it made BB Tag feel fresh again. And with it, it brought a lot of like a new player base. So what's going on with baby tag lately? Uh, we haven't heard anything about it. Uh, for me personally, I feel like we might not get anything new for the game. I feel like that's it. Like this is the baby tag that we will keep playing. You know, uh, I don't think Arc System will be interested to update the game, and it's due to different factors. Uh, to be honest, like just to adapt to what Coefficient was saying. Uh, number one. Uh, we have the pandemic situation going on so that one in itself it put breaks on a lot of projects and it like really toppled the economy you know so for a game like bb tag i don't think like art system are willing to put the time money and you know effort like to update the game because bb tag has been out for almost two years now you know it was released back in june 2018 and it got like uh, two different like big patches let's call them like the 1.5 and the 2.0 so i don't think they are willing to develop more for the game uh, especially with what's been going on in, like around the world lately um, but the thing is this is for me feels unfortunate because number one like we introduce arcana heart we introduce the uh, akatsuki uh, you, uh, you introduce senran kagura so are you gonna only keep one representative from each game and they had like a discussion going on for a while like we're gonna put like nine franchises in BB tag you know so i feel like a lot of these characters are one and done and they opened up a lot of potential like from other like other franchises so are we gonna, are we gonna only get yumi are we gonna only get heart you know like those characters made me like really imagine like what's the possibility of happening in baby tag what about the other characters like from ruby you know like there is a lot of characters requested from from, from ruby itself like as a, as a like as a brand so are we not gonna get anything you know um, i feel sad that this is happening to be honest to, to baby tag i feel like right now because of the current unfortunate circumstances like this game is gonna be stopped being supported by the developers uh, the other point is that like um, I've been an Arc System Works fan for over 10 years now and I've followed all their games and they have like this philosophy that I notice with them like uh, especially with the Blaze Blue games like they're gonna to do like two major updates for the game and then that's it you know they will stop supporting it um, I feel like this is due to the nature of Blaze Blue games like they're not as popular as the other games even though they are amazing on their own right but like they are not money makers like uh, Dragon Ball Fighters or they're not like Street Fighter Tekken you know they still have a very long way to go to become like as big as these franchises so I don't think I feel like uh, our system feels like it's financially feasible like to support the game for a very long time you know so I feel like they I believe like they feel like they've already satisfied the fan base for the game you know we, we've updated the game twice We've released a lot of characters, and in fairness, they did a lot of work on Baby Tag. Like, I feel like what they can do now is make incremental updates to the game. They don't need to revamp it. I feel like system-wise, it's in a very good place. Uh, I've accepted the fact that this game will never be truly balanced, by the way, because of the nature of the mechanics and the amount of characters you, you have. But they have a very good recipe on their hands, by the way, and Baby Tag caught me off surprise, you know? So... I feel like they, they'd rather focus on other projects now. Like, uh, they have Guilty Gear Strive coming up. They've just released uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus a couple of months ago. They've came out of the blue and they released like a whole big Dragon Ball Fighters patch. So, uh, I know that Dragon Ball Fighters is for uh, 
for Bandai Namco and the Grand Blue, they're working it with Psy Games, you know. But I feel like they have taken on a lot of projects, you know, so I don't feel like Baby Tag is a priority for them. I really hope that they will not abandon the game, you know, because it's a really good game. Um, and currently on the market, there is no game like it, to be honest. Like, uh, the direction of fighting games these days are, like, oriented towards, like, simplifying mechanics, making combos shorter, uh, making the game more straightforward, or they are, like, rebooting their own franchises, you know, like, Guilty Gear Strive, we saw what happened with that game. Like, it's as if they're starting from zero, simplifying the game. So, while Baby Tag is mechanically simple, like people say, there's a lot of depth, like, in the combo system and the tag mechanics, so... I don't want this game to die out, <laughs> you know? I feel like the game is very young. Uh, the third thing that's, like, um, really making me feel, like, this dreaded feeling that they will no longer support it, uh, is that, like, there is no news, no rumors, no, no, no publicity going on, like, for the game from Arc System Works side, you know, so... They are, their, their marketing now is heavily focused, like, on their upcoming games, you know, or their newly released games, it's like... Uh, okay, once in a week, once in a month, you know, they will do a giveaway on Twitter or something for baby tag, but I don't feel like they, 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 they are not hyping up anything, you know. Maybe it's because of the current pandemic situation, a lot of plans are on hold, but this makes me feel also like there is nothing, you know, gonna happen for the game. It will not get updated. Uh, for me personally, I really, really, really love baby tag. By the way, um, at first I was really skeptical when it first released, like, is it gonna be a fun game? But I feel like the developer, developers did a really good job uh, supporting the game, updating it, and they've added, like, they've improved on it. A big deal. I know the current meta, like, is uh, Yumi, Adachi, or whatever, but uh, they did a lot of work, and no one can deny how fun this game is. For me, I'm playing a lot of fighting games lately, but I feel frustration sometimes when I'm playing those games. But when I play Baby Tag, even though I'm losing, I don't feel that frustration because it's a genuinely fun game, you know, and I feel like uh, this should not be the end. And I feel like if we're not gonna support the current cross tag battle, this franchise should not die. You know, it should come back later, like for cross tag battle 2 or whatever, you know. Um, don't shelve it, Arc System Works. I think they have a good recipe on their hands. Uh, the, the game did a lot of things right. To be honest, even though I did many things wrong, you know, balance-wise, uh, maybe the characters that people were hoping uh, did not come yet, you know. Uh, uh, but I feel like it's still a, it's a fun game, and it should not go away. And I feel like it's one of the very few games that managed like to make it fun for like beginner-level players, and make it fun for like the people who want to get more into the game, uh, become like a high level player, go even competitive with that game. I feel like they strike a very good balance and uh, usually Arc System works like when you first release the game like the first couple of months, three months, you go to the lobbies and it's so full and you can play ranked, you know, it's so populated, it's so popular. Then you have like that phase where like only few people are playing in the lobbies or like few people are making uh, room matches or whatever. Then you have that phase where like you have to go to WhatsApp, you have to go to Discord, you have to go to Facebook, you know, and you have like to seek people to play, you know, like you have to make like a play date <laughs> to play the game. So two years later and until now, like when I log into a lobby in Baby Tag, like during evening time or weekends, I still find people, by the way, and I still find people from all player levels and I'm surprised to find that people actually like they are just getting into the game. You know, even and even on my YouTube channel, like I'm still getting comments, you know, from people who just got the game, who are still like trying to to learn it. So this makes me happy, um, and I'm hopeful. Like those few giveaways that Arc System Works are like still doing for the game, it's hinting that it's not yet, you know, dead or it's not gone forever. You know, um, I hope that they will keep to support it, even though that they might not like update it substantially. Like give us the characters that people were asking for. If you were working on characters from other franchises, just give them to us, you know. Uh, don't stop supporting this game. Um, I don't want to ramble too much, you know, but uh, this is my current feeling, you know. Um, I feel like Baby Tag will not be supported <laughs> anytime in the future, maybe even not at all. But that should not stop me or stop anyone from playing and enjoying the game. You know, until now it's like I'm still play playing Central Fiction. 
until now you know i'm still playing revelator 2 uh, this is a good indication like on how much high quality like the arc system world games are like you still enjoy them years after they were released and i feel like baby tag did not yet get its chance you know too much sure so you should not cut it short you know there's a lot of things promising coming in arc systems horizon and i hope that baby tag will still be part of it so yeah guys that's it uh thank you as always for watching uh, ramadan kareem to all who are celebrating uh, i hope this month will be a blessing for you all and i hope that you will always stay safe and this pandemic will be over soon so i can go back and play fighting games offline the internet here is terrible i cannot play online guys i'm, I'm suffocating you know but uh safety first yeah so thank you as always for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys and i'll see you in the next video Oh, then don't forget Zoe comes out in three days. So get hype for that. Yalla guys, take care and peace.